recording. So we lift off with Jack being like, huh, Annie, you were reading a book about a castle and um, I was looking at this picture dictionary and do you recognize any of this kanji from last week? Uh, We have hunt, we have ue, uh, Close. I think that, it's not, not ue. Right? Oh, um, you? Yeah, nice. Uh, is that chikan? I don't think so. It's the library Close. kanji. This one's zu. Ah, zukan. Um, we have miru. I kind of forgot the other two. So this one right here means outside. Any guesses what it might be? Outside. Sato. Yep, soto. How about this one right here means sky? Ah, sora. Yep, perfect. Do you know what a zukan is? Uh, picture dictionary. Perfect. Okay, so here's some new vocabulary. What's this word? Uh, eh. What is an eh? Just painting. Yep, how about this word? Uh, tomaru, which is, is to stop. Yep, this word. Kotoba is language or dialect. Yep, or words. Uh, those are all correct definitions of kotoba. Dialect, I think, is actually a slightly different word, but oh, it, it? it it. I I don't know it on top of my tongue, but you wouldn't say kansai ben kotoba. That'd be weird. Um. Mm. Uh, but kotoba means like the words you say. So you can refer to someone's accent using kotoba, but it doesn't actually mean accent. Yeah. That makes any sense. Um, so it's kind of like the words, things they say. So kind of words, sentences, language. Yeah. Um, do you know lot. this one? This one's kind of hard. I don't know why I don't have the in here. This is maboroshi. Yeah, I don't know this one. So. Maboroshi. So Maborushi kind of means phantom and kind of like a mythical Pokemon. So Mew is the Maborushi Mew. That's the category it's under, which in English, I'm pretty sure it's mythical. But the official mm. translation is phantom. But mythical tends to be more accurate. So I'm not sure why the dictionary is always says phantom for it. But it, it's almost like mythical type of... Uh, sometimes it can be like an illusion. So the idea of seeing the Pokemon, there's no way that's true. So that's kind of where that comes from. So yeah. illusion, phantom, uh, mythical type of thing. Maboroshi. Okay, so here is a um, grammar. Nagara, as in imoto no ani ga skippu shi nagara jaku ni kita. Do you know what nagara means? Nagara is while. Perfect. While doing something. Yeah. And earlier, you told me what this word meant. Do you remember? Painting. Yes. Um, so right up here is another um, refresher, which is what te mitai means, which is when you want to try something. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Uh, it's ka nibon, or sorry, it's ka nihon ni itte, or itte mitai. Yep, itte. What does that mean in English? Uh, I want to go to Japan. Perfect. So knowing that, how would you say, I wish I could meet a dinosaur? We got Kyoryu and Ao. Ao. I wish I could meet a dinosaur. Mm. Uh, Kyoryu ni Ao te mitai. Nice. So it's actually Ate, but... You were very close. Hmm. It's hard. Um, te form is hard. You might yeah. you might try drilling it because you can't really teach learn te form in class. It's like one of those like drilling like thing. Uh, yeah. I don't know what was happening to my cure. You, uh, hi. Do you remember this word? We don't have the reading for it anymore. What could this be? Uh, is it still eh painting? Yep, it is eh painting. So this is what painting looks like. It's pretty kind of random. We have au right here for some reason. And then we kind of have like the person kanji. So I mm. think the idea is that you meet people after they're dead. 
they're immortalized. That's how you can meet Van Van Gogh, maybe. Wow, you can meet him through paintings because a picture is worth a thousand words. Yes, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, do you know what this n is doing here? Like, dame da yo, dare no mono da ga, wakara nain da kara. This n is doing right here. So is it referring to something that was previously stated? Not at, not really. That'd be more of this no. That's no. all the, the mono. That in the mono. Um, sometimes no will do this. This n mm, is kind of a way to soften when you're making an explanation for something. So you wouldn't really say wakara nai dakara. That is very aggressive in Japanese. So you would almost never see that. Because I don't understand, but it, it feels like too aggressive. So normally in Japanese, they will add an N sound here or a no to kind of soften that blow when they're doing an explanation. It's kind of like a way to embed the explanation into the sentence um, without just saying because. Because a lot of times in Japanese, they like to add a sentence because and the word because so they want to have two becauses whenever you speak Japanese it's kind of like mm. how sometimes you might see moshi which means because but then it might end with like kashira or do we always need two becauses normally in Japanese or I wonders or something like that they kind of like they just kind of soften the blow for some reason so yeah this mm yeah is used for an explanation to kind of soften the blow than just saying because out loud. Okay, so that's the same thing that's going in right here, but we don't have because written outwards. So it's kind of a softener cuz that's been embedded into the sentence. Yeah. Okay, so the person who's talking here is Annie. What does Annie say? Annie Mirunai or Minai Minai. Yep. Minagara uh Hon Mono no Putera Don Putera Don ni Atte Mitai Um Te Ue or Iu. Yep. Te Iu Tanoyo. Nice. So Ita. So Iu is a dictionary ita. form of the word and Iu became Ita. So you same with Au became Ata. So you became ta. So whenever a, a verb ends with u, the te form and the ta form is going to have that little um, small tu between it. So ite, ita, ate, ata. That's that yeah. mm version. And it's, it's from the saying utsumute. So utu and mu, I think. Mu seems wrong. Untu for sure. It's um small te. Not moo. I wonder what the, what the actual word is. Listen to that song and repeat 20,000 times. Google the Terraform song. I don't know. I never actually did the Terraform song. It didn't work for me. Which is why I, I don't even know there were songs. I, mean, I guess I could look it up. Yeah. If you Google it, there there's like a there's popular songs. It's like it's in Genki. They're just like, yeah, remember the song and you get it all down. Uh, hmm. Never worked for me, but I think if you like, if you can sing, it probably <laughs> works well. Because I think, see, I don't even know what comes after Utsu or something. De. Utsu de, 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 de. Um, it's nonde, donde, shinde. Soni-chan, sono e o minagara. What does sono e o minagara mean? Sono e o minagara. Um, I want to see the painting outside. So you're thinking about mitai, which is right over here. This is minagara, which is extremely similar to mitai in that they both start with mi, but their meanings are extremely different. This mi comes from the word miru, which what does miru normally mean? Si. Yep, to see. So onichan. He is seeing sono e. What does that mean? Oni chan sono e. So, oni chan ga sono e. So, big brother outside painting. Alone, so that'd be yes. so, 
、uh, Sabi Soto. So, this is Sono、oh, means sono. this. So,、yeah. super close. You're right. Sono, soto, soto does mean that. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sono E. So, Big Brother, while looking at this painting, you. Homuro no put it on a knee. Atte mi tai te itta no yo. Let's pause the translating of the full sentence to do this little embedded sentence right here. What does Honmono no Kutterada ni Atemitai mean? Honmono no Teradon ni Atemitai. So, book mono, so book thing. That's really、uh, close. That's a beautiful, that's like, that's what you think it would mean. Honmono actually takes the origin meaning of Hon, because Hon has three meanings. One, one、mm. of them is origin. And so, right here is origin thing, which basically means the real thing. So, if there's any kind of Nise Monos, fake versions of it, the origin that the, nise, the fake was based off of is the Hon Mono. So, the original object is Hon Mono. The so, original, yeah.、Okay. Kind of like Nihon is the origin of the sun.、Nihon、yeah. Rather than sun book. So, Hon has a meaning of origin or book. But yeah, good guess. You'd think Hon Mono would mean book object, but it doesn't. It's one of those false friends. Yeah. So, okay, let's retry. Hon Mono no Putra da ni atte mi tai. So, the origin of the Putra da ni atte mi tai. So, atte mi tai. So, you want to meet the original Putra da ni? Yes, exactly. Or in this case, the transcendence would be a real p a t e r a d o n because he gets saying the original thing, but he's basically comparing the, pic,、uh, the, the fake, which would be the picture of the p a t e r a d o n in the books he's reading. That would be the fake version. So he wants to see、yeah. the original in space off of that. But translating it that way in English a little, sounds a little weird, even though that is what's、weird. going on.、So、the, a real p a t e r a d o n is probably just what we'd say. Real. Uh, sometimes you might say, Honto no p u t a d o n but here it's Honmo no.、Uh, so, yes, I want to meet a real p u t a d o n Then it goes, Te ita. What does that mean? Te ita. Te ita.、Uh? Mm. Te ita no yo. Do you know to ita? To ita no. Oh. So, te and to. Are both quotation particles. To be specific, to is the quotation partner particle and te is the slurred version of it. So rather than saying to, it just became te, te. somehow. So te is just the slurred version of it. So this means that this whole thing is in quotation marks. And it is actually already put into quotation marks for us again. Very helpful.、Um, so it says in quotation marks. Um, I wish I could see a real p u t e r a d o n You know what iu means? Iu means to say. So、basically. this means you, big brother, said, I wish I could meet a real p u t e r a d o n And do you remember what this no is doing here?、Uh, so it's referring to somebody. Oh, is it because?、Oh, it's because. It, it, theoretically, depending on、um, the sentence, no at the end can be pronoun no. But here is just the, the softener cuz, where basically this is an explanation. She's basically saying, Oh, the reason why this happened is because, Big Brother, you were reading this book and you said, I want to see a p u t t e r a d o n Obviously, that, that's what happened, Big Brother. So that's, that's, that's basically saying because here, but it's soft. So, it's not like saying the word because. Yeah. But it's like embedding because to the sentence.、Um, do you know what this yo is doing here?、Uh, emphasis? Exclamation yes, mark? It is emphasis. A lot of times yo is used when you think somebody else should know the same information. So, the fact that Big Brother was also here and he did this, he's like, you know, Big Brother. Um, while reading that, while looking at that picture, you said, I want to, I want to see a putteradon. So it kind of adds a ya no to it, but it's not like this is out of fashion in English. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my English, but it's not out of fashion in Japan yet.、Um, so it just kind of it, it does work as an explanation mark, like 
but it, it kind of also has a almost duh slight connotation. So if you are using it, you might avoid it depending on the sentence. You want to basically use it when you think whoever you're talking to should also have this knowledge. That's why ya yeah, know works well to illustrate that meaning. Because yeah. that's like that, you know, right? You know. You know. Um, What's this word? Honmono. And what does it mean? Uh, Origin. Perfect. Or the real thing. Yep. So now we have a brand new grammar point, which is tada. So basically, this is used for a cause and effect relationship where the second uh, um, thingy will not happen unless the first one is fulfilled. Um, this can be personal, though. So, um, for example, mm. to is a cause and effect relationship, but to is almost like, like God is doing to. Like, the sun sets. Like, it's science. Science is to. Tara isn't really like science. So you wouldn't say, if we take one and add it to two and we get three, you're not going to use tara there, but you can use to there. Yeah. So this is a personal cause and effect relationship. Um, but it's not like personal in a, um, if this happens, then I will do this. So it's personal as in the things that occur is personal to you, but why it occurs is because that's what would happen. The sentence I feel like pretty well illustrates it. Can you read the sentence? Uh, 勉強したら疲れた. Yeah, 勉強したら疲れた. So if I study, I'll become tired. Or I studied and then I became tired. Is yeah. basically what it's saying. So it's personal. I decided to go study. And different people could study and perhaps not be tired. But the act of being tired was directly caused from studying. Perhaps if I didn't study, I wouldn't be tired. So that's how it's personal, but not, but like a very like, but not, but like there's like, you know, like that level that I'm kind of yeah. trying to explain. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to use words to do that. Um, so over here, it takes that personal to say, when we stopped, we arrived here. So over here, it's being used basically this style when rather than if. So when I, when you study, you became tired. Or when we stopped, we arrived at this location. So it's doing they're walking. And that. how would you think you'd say that? When we stopped, we arrived here. We got koko, which is here. Tomata, stopped, and kita, to have come. How do you think mm -hmm. you'd say that? When we stopped, we arrived. Uh, uh, uh. Interesting. Um, stopped. We arrived here. I'm tired. Just to have a little version of that sentence for you for comparison. So like. This is a good guess. The issue right here is the kokono. This is um so no goes between nouns. So kokono you would never say that. Koko. Unless koko o. That's pretty good. Um I would personally use ni or e koko oh, ni yeah, so koko yeah. ni tomata tomatara kita basically means when we stopped here came which is a little bit different than my goal which is when we stopped we arrived here which would so the koko ni is part of the kita in this context so see here that's koko and arrived is the kita rather yeah. than being part of stopped. So, tomatara koko ni kita. Um, what's this word? Uh, honmono. Yeah. What does it mean? It means origin. Nice. So, right here is Jack talking. So, just a second ago, Annie said no yo, 
So continuing with that no yo, Jack says this word, which is what? Uh, so da. So Sashtara. He... Hi. Uh, so da. Sashtara honmono no butera don ga araware tanda. Perfect. So this soda right here is basically saying you're right. Soda. What you said, oh, that is a fact. So he's also agreeing that the no yo is definitely something he should know. He's like, yeah, you're right. I do know that. So, um, so cutting off, he goes, so shtara. This so shtara is basically saying the events mentioned in the last sentence, which was, um, sono e o minagara homono no putara don ni atte mitai te iu koto. Which was um, while looking at a picture, um, he says, "I want to see a putradan." So that is what that soul shit referring to. Then we got tara. So, what do you think that means? So the shush tara. So once, uh, everything Annie said happened. Yes. Perfect. Honmono no putradan arawareta. You know what oh, arawareta man. means? I don't. What would you guess? What what happened with the putradan just a second ago? Well, last time we met. Uh, the putradan was in a painting. That's a, that is what happened. But something magical happened. He oh, saw. It flew by. Yes, it flew by. Arawareta means to appear. Hmm. So this is saying that, so right after I said, oh, I wish I could meet a real Putradan, a real Putradan appeared. And Jack has this mm right here, which is the same reason that the last sentence we had the no. It's kind of continuing that explanation because the embeddedness in here. So they're all, currently this conversation that happened is about explaining what happened. Why why did suddenly the, the put it on appear? Why did the house go guru guru guru? That that's why these ums are appearing here, because they're all explaining something. Yeah. Um so now Annie is continuing this train of thought with uh so three house guru guru mawari you know what cuny means? Cuny. It does sound familiar. That's very. You might have heard isoge, isoide. So to hurry? Yes. But what is, if we take out, what what's that something that's so, so, so cuny and isoide have the same kanji, but their meaning is a little bit different, but it's like related. So cuny basically means suddenly. Mm. So isoide basically means to do something as if you you want to be sudden. So to hurry is to try doing something suddenly, basically. So basically it means to do something fast. It's like isoide. So like it's yeah. like, hurry up, hurry up, be faster. So kuni is just fast, like suddenly. So suddenly, kaze ga chokunatte. What does that mean? So the wind starts to speed up or get strong. Yeah. And then what happened? Um, so I started to shake. Yes. What started the shake? The tree house. Yes. And in what way did it shake? It was a guru muru. Yes. Kind of, or guru guru. So I allowed shake, but specifically mawari means to turn. Mm. So to guru, turn. yes. Um, so yudedu would be to shake, as in like shaky, shaky. But the treehouse is shaking as it's mawari. So it became turning, spinning around in a circle. So guru guru is the sound effect of going around in a circle. Um, I think it might have came from the sound effect of like spinny tops. Well, guru 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 guru. Good, 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 good. 
So, and it goes, oh, and then suddenly the wind became strong and the tree house went round and round and round. Um, okay. So do you know, so what's this verb right here? Uh, kite. Or kite. Hi, kite. Kite, kite. You know what it means? Kite. Uh, again, one of those familiar words. Mm -hmm. uh, kite. To well, arrive? Yes, it does mean to arrive. It means to arrive or to come. It's it's the same word. It's, it's, it just depends on how you want to translate it. Um, so this word is one of those irregular verbs, kind of like how we've seen sudo turn into shidu. Um, like sorry, sudo into shite. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Shidu into shite. Yeah, I bet you were like really confused for a second. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> or shimas. Where there's irregular. So this one here is super irregular in that we got kuru, kite, and konai. Three different ways this character is pronounced. All with K's, luckily. But ku, ki, and ko are a little bit harder. So kuru mm. is the dictionary form to come. Yep. Kite is te form. And what is konai? It's the negative form. Yes. So to not come. Perfect. So yeah, this is the um <laughs> when I look at this, this looks like the front of a bus to me. So the bus is coming. Kite, 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 mm. ah. Um, okay. So now we have Jack talking. What does he say? Tomatara kokoni uh Hello. Hello. Yes. I heard oh, you read it. Did I cut out? You might have cut out. Did you translate it? <laughs> oh no, no, I haven't. I, I heard you read the Japanese. Tomatara kokoni kitteta, and then end up silence. <laughs> um, I haven't translated yet. Oh my! Try, it. try once more. <laughs> tomatara So tomatara was our new grammar point we saw earlier. So like stopping and then kokoni kitteta. You actually so made this sentence. Came. Yes. Specifically, it's saying when I stop. So we did the act of stopping. And that caused, like, right when they stopped, they came to this location. So since they've stopped, they're now at this location. Yeah. So yeah, this is actually the sentence you made earlier. When we yeah. learned the tara right over here, when we stopped, we arrived there, which was tomatara, koko ni kita. Um, right here, it's kiteita, which, do you know why it's kiteita? Like grammar. Um, I don't know. So it be turned into came into like was coming. Kind of like it doesn't work super oh, well in English. Tense. So yeah. it's past tense of the ing version though. So it's like the which is weird. <laughs> which definitely occurs. Um, do you remember this word? Tomato to stop. Exactly. So here is Annie talking. What does she say? Tomatara, Coconi Coconi, a pepper. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Annie, what? Jack, no, uh, Cotoba, oh, Kiri Kaista. So let's start with Tomatara, Coconi Kitawa. What does that mean? Mm. Uh, so when I stopped, Kokoni. Oh, it's the same sentence. It is uh, the same sentence. Yep. The only All difference right. is that Annie yes. added wa, which is the feminine marker. Um, mm. It has a little bit of meaning in it, but it's very slight. So you mostly only want to know that if you want to use it. Since you're a boy, you don't want to really. use it. <laughs> so she's like, oh. Uh, and then we came. So, Annie, what? Jack no kotoba. What does kotoba mean again? Language. Close. So, in this context, it's not language. It's mm, words. Yes. Jack no kotoba o kurikaista. Because remember, you said earlier that what she said was, uh. 
because Jack said, uh, Tomatara koko ni kita. Annie says, Tomatara koko ni kita wa. What did Annie do? She added wa. She did add wa, but what did you say before before I pointed out the wa was added there? Oh, the same bit. When yeah. I stopped, I arrived. Yeah. So she repeated. Is what that means. Kurikaista means basically to repeat. So what did Annie repeat? So Annie repeated Jack's words. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And okay, these are all the con these most of this is the kanji we went over. Um, do you remember this kanji? What's this guy? Uh you. Nice. How about this guy? Uh, tomorrow. Nice. And this guy? De. Nice. This guy? Um that one was origin. Not origin, that's over here. Someone oh that one was person mm -hmm. stand oh eh. Yep, it is eh. <laughs> well, I can't believe that story helped the person, <laughs> person meeting somebody. It's Van Gogh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um one sec. What does Zukan mean? Uh, picture dictionary. Sorry, my headphone just unplugged. What do you say? Picture dictionary. Perfect. Nice. And we're actually going to do the stop sharing screen and resharing screen real thing real quick. Yep. And...